Hello friends, welcome you all in my YouTube channel. And today I am going to design a 3D sketching. And uh, in this tutorial, you will learn the fundamentals of 3D sketching. And uh, plus in next uh, model, we are going to design this uh, particular ATV frame. So let's stay with me and start this 3D modeling, uh, sorry 3D sketching. So first of all we will click on this icon and we will select 3D sketch. And now here you can see this is X, Y and Z axis and suppose we need to draw a line. So we will select this line from here. You can click anywhere but I am uh, clicking on the center of this and suppose we are moving in this direction or in this direction or in this direction any direction you can draw in it so suppose in my direction i have been taking this and now if you need to move in this direction you can move freely without any problem and again you can come down like this so just rotate it you can see by rotating you can see this is a i have prepared here now just select this line again click here and see in which plane you are going to do this is a x y plane now we need to change the plane so we we will press the key tab when you will apply the tab key you can draw like this this side now you need to come in this side Again, you can see this is a different plane. So, we will click again, tap, and we can drop to here. And now you can meet this line to this line. That's not a problem. You can connect this. Again, we need to design two more vertical lines. So, what we will do? We will click here. If you are going to design in this direction, definitely this is wrong. We are going to design. Just check it. Suppose I have clicked here. And now, when you will rotate it, you can see this is in some other direction. So, I will select it and delete. Take a line command. Click here. And you tap button. Now, this is in vertically downward. You can come. Select OK. Take again this line command. Select here. Now you can come vertically downward, that's not a problem. So here you can see we have designed this particular thing. Now you can give the smart direction, uh, dimension or just select this one and this one and give the relation equal. You can also select this one, control this one and give the relation equal. So you can select this four vertical members also and can give the equal so when i will give that dimension of this this will also automatically change this this will automatically change and we need to give the dimension of only one this and remaining three will automatically change so now just give the dimension to this we need to give it to 1000 mm This one we can do 600. So 1000 by 600. This we have prepared. Now one dimension also you can do here. And make it four. And three automatically will be four. So we have prepared this. Now suppose we need to design something on this plane also. Just click OK from here. Take again one more line. Now the center point is here, we will click here, you can go upward, that is not a problem. Again, you can go upward, not a problem. Select, click here to here and join this one to this one. 
at the corner. Okay. Now you can rotate and check it. Either this is right or not. So you can see this is right. Okay. And again, we can give one more line from this particular point to here at this corner. One more line from this point to this one. So this is what we have created here. And suppose if you want to increase the span of this or want to make one more span, what we can do? Just see here. We'll click here. This is again showing X, Y plane. We are not going in right direction. See where we are going. So this is not a right plane. So what we will do? We'll click on tab. Now this is giving the right direction. So we'll click here and select it. Now you can see we have the angle. Again, what we can do? Just click here and we can come into this particular direction. Now you can connect easily this one to this one. That's not a problem. You can see. And how we can make this equal? Select this one and this one. Sorry, this one. select this one and this one make it equal from here just scroll down it make it equal now and select this one and this one we can make it equal also so here you can see now we need to design two more vertical lines here one line here this is right place not a problem again we can select one more vertical line here this is not up to the mark control z now select this one this one and this one and uh, make it equal so every lines are now vertical lines are equal equal in dimension so this one and this one is also equal so what other things we can do we can design the same structure also here just take a vertical line right click ok select again take one more vertical line here from the center to here select ok and uh, near, we can join this one to this one also for looking good. We have done this and uh, now we will select this one, this one, sorry, select this one, this one and this one and make it equal again. So these are equal. Now we can connect from here to here without any problem. Select it and uh, check, click from this point to this point. We have connected. We can click from here and connect this point to this point. Okay. So Take one more line, connect this one to this one and we'll connect from this point to this point. Now you can rotate this structure and see. This is a same for all. From here you can change the view and see. From the front, this is look, looking like this. We'll check the isometric view. Here you can see. So now the dimensions is already defined by the symmetricity. 
and uh, will and suppose we need to uh, make it now model we need to convert uh, this line diagram this line 3d sketch into the 3d model so what we will do we'll exit from here now we'll go into the insert we'll click on beldaments we'll select beldaments now again go insert we'll take a structural member so now we will assign this uh, if you want to make it with the help of the structural tube rectangular that is okay pipe that is also okay you can give the size of 33 by 4 maximum will select this one this one this one so in this tutorial we are covering the weldaments we are covering the 3d sketching so 3d sketching how you can go further after 3d sketching how you will convert this into the structural type member so that's why it is important for you just learn it it's a very easy for any kind of doubt and designs you can give your questions in comment box only and I can develop the design whatever you want. We will select this vertical lines together. All vertical line we can select. Now give one more group, we will select this one, sorry, select this one and this one, this is not taking no problem, make another group, first of all make this one like, click this one, now we can select this and we can select this. So here, yeah. again when we will click OK from here or here, you will get this geometry in complete 3D. So here you can see, we have designed this particular 3D, any frame type structure you can see this, this is a pipe tubular type bridge. This is an example, you can design accordingly whatever you want. Just keep in mind how we are going for this particular sketching part. So friends, now if you want to give any kind of color and choose material, you can give here. Polished steel if you want. Yeah, you can give it. Just drag it and keep here. If you want to make it color, you need to make it uh, in, go in some different sections. We can aluminium, we can use it here. So you can see joints are also looking good because we have used the weldaments here also. Here you can see. Here you can see the joints are also looking strong. Here also we can see. Yeah, this is joints are looking good. So like this, uh, we can design any kind of frame. 3D frame, especially for those students who are uh, looking for Supra and Bar. So this 3D sketching is very important for you. And in our next tutorial, definitely I am going to design and analysis complete this frame. You can see here, this is similar to a TV frame. So we will design something uh, looking uh, like this. And I hope friends you have enjoyed this tutorial. In next, next tutorial, we will meet with the, some new design and new techniques. So, thank you so much. Jai.